What's up YouTube? It's MacBook here. Uh, today I'm gonna make a sort of video which is gonna be the got to have apps. So the apps you really have to uh, get because they're very useful and if you're a new Mac user uh, they will be very useful to you later on. Um, so yeah, uh, first of all I wanna say um, I just finished uh, school. Well I didn't really finish it but I finished all my exam stuff and all the tests so I can make videos again that's why I was away for a while but um, let's go on the video so first of all the app I chose for number one was flip for Mac uh, flip for Mac is a um, sort of add-on or a plugin however you want to call it um, which lets you read WMV files which are video files by Windows computers on your QuickTime because when you got QuickTime which you get standard on any Mac um, you'll see that it doesn't read uh, WMV files so if you download this um, you can read them so you can just take the free version it's totally free and there are also some paid version but you don't really need them uh, by the way all the links are in the description to the right so you can just uh, click on them to get you to this website I'm showing you so uh, then we got camouflage I wasn't totally sure if I was gonna put this one in this list but I thought yeah why not it's pretty cool anyway so um, so if you're like me you download some stuff or you make some research and uh, you download everything on your desktop it's gonna be uh, it's gonna look pretty messy like this uh, about everywhere stuff and you don't you don't even need everything but you're just too lazy to delete it like I am so um, this application called camouflage when you start it up you set up a hotkey and then you can just press that hotkey and it will hide all your icons and stuff on your desktop. And what's even cooler, you can set some preferences. When you double click, it automatically automatically uh, opens a finder window, but it can also be something else. And if you want, there's also uh, a version or well, a preference where you can, when you hide your icons, it's, it also changes background. So you may, you may choose all that stuff. So that's pretty cool, camouflage. Uh, you can check it out. Links in the description. Uh, Adobe Reader. So uh, uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna put this one. This one is not really in the list, but I, I'll just explain you why. Because a lot of people I know say Adobe Reader is really an app you should have because it's just really handy and every computer should have it. So uh, why I think this is not true? Adobe Reader opens PDF files and you can sort of edit them a bit. Not really a lot, but can just copy paste text and all this stuff but on every Mac you get uh, this application called preview uh, with it and it does exactly the same I mean you can you can open up PDFs and you can also copy paste the text so that's why I um, do not put this one in the list but I just want to explain you why but anyway the link will also be in the description so if you really want to have it why not uh, then we got v uh, VLC media player so a uh, VLC media player is um, a sort of media player like QuickTime, except it reads about all video files and all music files. You can also use it as a cross over platform, a cross platform media player, like an open source media player. You can do that, and um, so that it's it's VLC media player. It's really handy because it literally reads every almost existent almost every existing format in music and in video so you can all check it out it's pretty cool uh, because I'm saying that because QuickTime does not open all um, stuff so yeah uh, <clears throat> okay then we got uh, we come to App Zapper well App Zapper is paid and I know you guys don't like paid apps because you want free stuff so that is why there's a application called App Cleaner which is does exactly the same but it's free so um, that's pretty cool but because I got App Zapper myself because I didn't know App Cleaner existed when I bought App Zapper so that's why but it does almost the same so I'm just gonna show you App Zapper but it does the same as App Cleaner um, maybe a little confusing but uh, App Zapper so when you open up App Zapper you get this uh, kind of um, drop box here uh, there's also this little genius thing and it just searches all your applications. So AppZapper can just uh, select an app you don't want to have 
So for example, Boxy here, which is also a pretty cool app. It's a sort of a, a home, well, cinema sort of stuff. You can watch some videos on it. Um, so basically, it finds the app and the related files, uh, the related files which are with it, and then when you click zap, it just deletes all the thing and moves them to trash. So that's pretty cool because if you delete the app alone, basically you still got some stuff often uh, left over which you don't want either. So um, that is App Zapper. Uh, by the way, if you want to check out App Zapper, uh, there's a free trial, but it's only you can only uninstall five apps, I think. So that's why there's App Cleaner um, for free. Uh, one last thing I want to add, which is pretty important actually, but I forgot it. Uh, is jump cut because jump cut mm, what's this I'm not sure well jump cut uh, lets you paste all the stuff you copied uh, last so all the 50 50 uh, stuff you um, co copied so let me explain myself if you get a text edit document for example and you copied something and you thought you were going to paste that one but you copied something else and it's totally confusing because the last thing you copied just overrided the other thing so basically you can just um, copy whatever things and then you go to this little icon here uh, this little icon will be jump cut and these are the last 50 things I copied and when I just click on them it basically pastes, pastes, pastes the word or the phrase uh, there so basically all the things you copied uh, you can still paste them afterwards so I think that's pretty handy for you guys as well because I use it a lot um, if you copy and paste a lot <laughs> I think a lot of people use copy and paste and of course, the link will also be in the description. So, thanks for watching. Please leave comments if you also got any um, cool apps you want to show. I always read all my comments, so you can check it out. Uh, you can post a comment, and maybe uh, if it's a good app, I'll obviously make an app review about it. Uh, so, please comment, rate, and subscribe if you didn't already. Um, so, thanks for watching. Peace. Oh yeah, guys, I forgot to say, um, I just wanted to ask you a little question, so please comment below for the answer. Uh, maybe you didn't have noticed, but I put some um, sort of sound effect in the video I just made. So um, please, please tell me uh, if you like the sound effect, uh, and tell me yes, if I should keep doing that or no. And what you think of my new intro, so that's pretty important. So if you don't remember it... Um, Go check in the beginning of the video, this is my new intro and I had a different one before. Tell me which one you prefer and uh, yeah, thanks for telling me, so peace again.